in terms of sort of niche content, in terms of sort of out there content, you know, people are finding that you don't have to just be mainstream to be successful. So my name's Mark Herbert, I'm founder and joint CEO of Walk Films. We're sat here in Sheffield, we're a Sheffield based film and TV production company. We've been going nearly 20 years. Started off as many films, first feature film was Dead Man's Shoes, then This Is England, and in the last 10 years we've done a, a, a much more television drama. So how did, how did Walk start? Walk started off as a so how Walk Films came about was basically, it was, it was Walk Records. Rob Mitchell, Steve Beckett, who ran this amazing independent record label, came up with a mad idea to do a film company because they'd done some amazing pop videos. Chris Cunningham, Come to Daddy. And I was a mate of theirs and I helped them out with a business plan. And then when it came to, they got the money, I was a producer, so I was wanting to just produce. So I sort of got the films off the ground and, and, and started to run the company. So I came through the sort of very much the runner, you know, work my way up, making cups of tea. I then got, was lucky to work in the locations department. What was amazing about being a location manager, which I didn't realize at the time, is that you're the first on off them. So you get to meet all the departments, so it's a great learning curve for me in every single department because you're the first on set and the last to leave set. But you also spend a lot of time with writers and directors and designers and producers driving them around locations you've found. So it was a great way of me just becoming a sponge and sat in the front seat. I'd listen to good producers, I'd listen to not so good producers and I just, just used to think, wow, okay, if I was going to do that job, what would I do? What do they do well? So it was a really good grounding over those years for me to get a real good insight into what really went on. I do still really look back at Dead Man's Shoes as being a real pivotal moment because we had quite a punk rock, rock spirit to how we made that film. It was shot in 18 days. The crew was the size of the people we could fit in a minibus, so we put some quite strict rules. And I still think that to say that we shot on 700 grand and 18 days of shoot, I think, still think it stands the test of time. It's a lot of people's favourite British film. Once a film's finished, I might watch it in the premiere and then I don't watch it ever again. But, weirdly, Dead Man's Shoes was on recently and, um, and I broke that by actually watching it on film four at like one in the morning and it was interesting watching it back after all this time. So yeah, I think Dead Man's Shoes is special, you know, in production design and in camera and sound and editors. It really is a team effort. Obviously you've got a director and you've got a producer, you've got a writer, but trust me, the most rewarding thing is assembling that crew because if you get it right and they're good and they, we do get it right, we, there are some amazing crew in this country. Is that you then, as a producer, if you've built, got the right components, you should just need to oil it. <laughs> Obviously you have some decisions to make during the thing, but I, I do love putting together a team of people that are gonna help me, the writer, director, deliver their, their story. Gosh. Biggest lesson, um, be nice to people. <laughs> and it sounds crazy, but honest to God, there's a lot of stress and you have to treat people well. I was just thinking about somebody the other day who was making tea, the tea at Film 4 when, and now they've got a really senior decision-making commissioning role, whether they're a runner or whether they're a DOP. Just got to be nice to people because if you're not, it comes back and bites you. I do talks now and again at um, university and colleges and I, I, the first thing I always do is show people the credits in the film. There's often a hundred and so credits, which is not all of them are producers, writers and directors, which is what a lot of people want to be. So I encourage people to, to, to really think about the technical jobs because we have a really, really incredible technicians here. And I think that's something that we should just cherish. So I do say to people, young people wanting to get into the industry and so, so it's, it's really, really, don't just focus on being the writer, don't just focus on being the writer, don't just focus on being the producer. Look at all of those jobs. Like I said about my career, I was a location manager for nearly a decade. That was a great way to becoming a producer. Other people have different routes to becoming a producer or director. You have to be resilient because you get a lot of no's before you get a yes. Uh, that's both in terms of getting a project off the ground or getting a, your career off the ground. There's no hard and fast way, so get in, that's the hard thing, and then sort of think about manoeuvring. Oi. There you go. That was powerful, that. Yeah. <laughs>